We turn our attention now to a developing story here in Lagos and it's still a tale of anger and frustration trailing the monumental loss of lives at the collapsed residential building in the wealthy neighborhood of Ikoi in Nigeria's commercial capital, Lagos. While the nagging question of what went wrong remains unanswered, one of the groups asking questions now is the Association of Nigerian Chartered Architects. Now this group is advocating that three independent political technical and judicial panels uh, should be set up to unravel the root cause of the collapse. In a statement jointly signed by the President Muyoshore Omash Sune and the National Secretary of the Association, Ade Adekoye jo Jolao Show, well, they say a political probe would help government make informed decisions after getting details on approvals, supervisions, and regulations. The statement stressed the need for a technical panel to study the original brief for the project and its design, as well as documented evidence to understand the facilities included in the failed edifice. Well, GKB, talking about this political panel or as a solution or as a, a part of a three-way solution how do you think this would work it seems to be novel in all these um, investigative panels that that we've been seeing you know to unravel causes of this and that but for this political option what do you make of this how viable is it i think what the architects are saying which all of us have been saying for a while is the fact that we don't want the reports uh brushed under the carpets under political correctness and they don't want it buried under technical jargons that will really not tell us anything. So what they're asking for is that let's separate the areas into three. Let's look at the technical area only for those who are in the know. So that architects, builders will know exactly the root cause of the technical aspects of the failure of the edifice. While the politicians can now find political solution for whatever is happening that led to the failure of governments in uh, protecting uh, the problem that arose from the area. And of course, the third one is, uh, is basically to ensure that those who face the law are not protected by politics. It's simply a, an acceptance that they do expect to get judgments from the present panel, that they expect that the panel report will be doctored in such a way that some people will get away or that those who are experts will not get a true reflection of what is the technical aspects of the failure, not to be convinced with the political aspects and the judicial aspects that of course you know will come out. I agree with them. Let us take one aspect and treat it separately. Then we can get a broader picture of what really went wrong. Uh, well, Mojid, looking at the panel as it is you know, presently constituted, how convinced are you that they will be able to deliver within the 30 days that the governor has um, you know, given them, especially for such a large-scale investigation as this? Yeah, um, I have absolute uh, confidence in the composition of uh, the members of the panel, uh, especially as... I think most of them are, price, are private sector uh, uh, operators uh, led by the uh, president of the uh, uh, NIA, NIA, Nigeria Institute of, of um, architects. architects. So, and um, a, a lot of issues have uh, come up uh, since the, uh, the 21 story uh, building uh, uh, came down. And uh, pertinent uh, of which is the fact that even they are suspecting that the material testing laboratories in Lagos. Results from some of those laboratories might have been um, compromised. Uh, compromised. Uh, because um, if we are getting good results from those, that's why you are supposed to test each floor as you are building, as you are, I mean, the, the, you are supposed to uh, test this, the, the, the stress level of each floor as you are advancing. And the questions that must be asked by the pro panel is the structural engineer that pulled out of the site in February 2020, they must ask him reasons. He stated some reasons. I mean, I want to believe now is the time for him to elaborate more. He said uh, in the letter which I read uh, that he could only guarantee the stress level up to the fourth floor 
in a 21-story building. So that speaks volumes. So, uh, and why they are particularly concerned about the third level here, which is the judicial probe, stroke corona inquest, is that we won't end up like uh, the synagogue case or the Lekki Gardens case. We have not had anything to, I mean, up till today. I mean, it's like it's in comatose. So, because until people are punished for things like this, well, in this case, unfortunately, the principal actor uh, also uh, died in the, in, the, in the rubble. But then he has a fantastic uh, history of building high-rise buildings. Uh, the, 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 very, the very first black man to build a seven-story structure in the UK. And you know, in the UK, you can compromise the standards. He also has buildings in uh, uh, South Africa um, uh, and the US. So why is it that it is the one in Nigeria that, uh, uh, that is failing? And they are also calling for a stress test to be conducted on the two existing buildings. Probably it might have been affected by the impact because the three, uh, the, the, the three buildings are like a triangle, the 15, 15, and the 21. They are, so the, the collapse of this structure, I mean, you, you, you think it was a controlled demolition. Mm. I mean, so the architects want these issues and more to be dealt with. That's why they are breaking that into political, technical, and actual serving punishments to those who deserve to be punished. I mean, somebody is already on suspension. Maybe more will still go. Uh, but at the end of the day, going beyond just suspension, there must be punishment for whoever caused the loss of 44 lives. I mean, and see counting. BKO, what will it be for, for you now, especially with this you know, political panel that is being proposed uh, by the Association of Nigerian Chartered Ar Architects, what, what's your say on this? I, I think that they are trying at their best to ensure that as a people we learn from this. We've had um, building collapses in the very recent past and even suggestions made were never implemented. We had the coroner's report in respect of the um, the synagogue church of all nations building that gave way in September 2014, killing 116 people. Up to now, no one has been punished apart from the Nigerian City of Builders, uh, which announced that it was the registering two of its engineers who were involved in the construction of that building. I have not seen anyone jailed. The matter has dragged on for so long in the court, and that's why the architects are saying this time that our friends in the legal profession should please allow these investigations to take place and not halt investigations uh, through the instrumentality of, uh, of um, injunctions, uh, interlocutory injunctions and the rest as uh, uh, lawyers like to do. They also talked about um, investigating the materials used in the course of erecting that project. As I said yesterday, it is improbable that a building that high, a building as high as almost 80 meters, will simply collapse without some uh, um, some problems that were either not identified at the beginning or were simply ignored. You would notice that in, in their memo, the architects were talking about structural design and all that. You can actually, a building can give way because the structural design was defective. So you've got to get the structural design right. It's not enough to simply um, look for approval, seek approval to do 15 stories and all that. Part of the job of the regulatory agency is to monitor 
even that construction from the beginning to the end. But as we have seen, even the, the video has gone viral, you will see that there was a pushback at a point when these regulators were trying to do their work. And this is what is really frustrating. So how do we ensure that these things do not happen again? The architects are saying the quality of materials, that every material used must be subjected to scientific and technical analysis. They are also saying that the management of the project from the beginning has to be investigated. You know? So if we have the technical probe, we have the, uh, the, 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 the political probe, and we do not have needless injunctions stopping this um, um, the investigation from happening, perhaps we will be able to arrive at um, some conclusions that will help us ensure that this sort of thing does not happen again. But it keeps happening in Lagos, and I'm truly worried because we don't know when next uh, 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 another building will give way. So in a state where this has been happening for years, by now there ought to be institutional safeguards to ensure that these bu buildings do not give way in Lagos as we continue to experience. No part of our country witnesses building collapse like Lagos. So it is the responsibility of the Songwolu administration to ensure that it lays down a marker and ensure that this is the last time that a building of that stature will come down in Lagos, will give way in Lagos State. And I want them to take seriously the suggestions that these architects have made because their suggestions are very detailed, very thorough, and very yeah. professionally written. And written also in good language. You will know that they mean well. So the government needs to take those suggestions seriously so that we can uh, get to the the bottom of this matter and ensure that um, this avoidable deaths from building collapse uh, do not happen again. They've even gone on to say that um, the government should also consider imposing a moratorium on constructions of high-rise buildings, uh, especially above above the sixth floor. But but then, of course, the clarion call from all, all you three gentlemen have been that you know government should take all these suggestions seriously. Yeah. But but then, while we are looking at that, what about the, the how do you assess the government's uh, response? In a very sorry calamity as this, there has been a lot of you know, reactions and reports on did the government do well, could the government have had done better in, in responding, and even up to now, their recovery efforts. How do you, would you assess that? Well, we, you learn every day. So it would be unfair to blame the Sawolu administration totally for not expecting things of this nature. After the synagogue collapse, I think they started an agency whose job was solely to ensure that things like this do not happen again. I think they call it Lagos State Building Inspection or something. Lapka. And, uh, and their job solely is to ensure that all buildings we put up in Lagos met the minimum standard. Normally in most other countries there will be a code, a building code for areas. They are even in Lagos here, yeah, when we were growing up. The areas where you cannot build more than a story building. The areas that are designated based on the soil tests for only bungalows. The area in the Putemeta and Obelio de Wala that is now hosting 10 story buildings, 12 story buildings. Even there are certain areas on Lagos Island because they are very near the sea or the ocean that should not be, that should not be more than one story building. They are now five story, six story buildings. So we, there seems to be failure of governance in that area of building code for areas. All over the world, building codes differ from area to area. Absolutely. Based on their Absolutely. Needs. I even remember in the Ms. Mr. Oshibono's interview, he said something like that about the experience in the UK. Uh, you can build beyond two stories in, in, in some streets. I'm telling you that in Lagos, I'm not talking about uh, All right. the UK. I'm talking about this Lagos that we grew up in. There are areas you cannot. There was a time somebody, I think, is it about a body, I think. Somebody wanted to build a story building in an estate. They went to courts that the designated court for that area are bungalows, and they won. 
Okay. We don't do that anymore, of course, because of okay. uh, loss we, of... We will rest the conversation. I am on this.